Hi, Tony here again. You'll remember a while ago, or if you uh, look through my videos, you'll see I did a Bendix uh, King um, radio stack for Air Manager, and I've been working on a, a Garmin variant, the more up-to-date um, installations tend to use the Garmin uh, kit now. So uh, I've been working on a few bits and pieces. I haven't quite got a full stack to show you uh, today in this video, but I've got a few of the instruments that I've sort of kind of been working on. Some of them are partly done, but... Um, We've um, we've got um, some progress made on some of them. So the first one I'd like to show you is um, the um, GMA 340. This fitted in thousands of aeroplanes. General Aviation Aeroplanes have, have been using this audio panel for years and years and years. They've just recently um, got rid of this uh, panel, or they got rid of, made obsolete, um, and replaced it with... Um, a uh, Bluetooth uh, brand new model, essentially almost the same uh, audio panel, but this one has stood the test of time and has been around for ages. So uh, this is used in uh, lots of uh, aircraft. Um, so got all the uh, the lights and and the buttons uh, working there. Uh, even the logic for the um, listening to the um, second com, and then when you flick over to the second com, um, the original one will stay on there or you can turn it off and turn that off and then it will just flick between the two or you can ask it to remember it and then when you go back it will switch off and it's, it still remembers that you wanted to listen to it same with the COM2 you can do that too so usual uh, oops, there we go logic um, I think, yeah marker uh, mute that works with the marker beacon when you're doing the high and low sensitive it doesn't do a lot in the sim but it works uh, here on that uh, the nav one and two buttons and this interacts with my uh, radios in terms from the audio function so when you turn these on you get that enhanced functionality with the with the um, turning off of the audio turning on the audio adjusting the volume um, some of these other things like speaker and PA obviously don't work because we don't have that but the DME and the ADF are working uh, there's a test button which uh, just lights all the lights up you can see there and uh, the markers there on the left hand side you let go of that and it lets go it's a fairly straightforward audio panel and then also got the updated model the uh, GMA 345 um, I think there's a 342 as well which is almost the same but it's uh, it has it doesn't have the Bluetooth um, the Bluetooth model, I think it has a, a three and a half mil uh, jack for the audio. This one's got the Bluetooth, so again, um, oh, let's turn that on. It's just a slightly different look there, um, but uh, essentially, you see the layout is the same and the similar uh, functionality here with the uh, the different um, uh, settings. All of these buttons work. Um, marker mute again is the same. Um, with the general functionality of that audio panel. So there's another one that's a, that's a more up-to-date one. Um, I've also modified the um, overlays. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I don't know if the fourth, I haven't got around to doing one of them yet, but uh, the um, the overlays um, for the, um, I've, I've included my lighting scheme on the top of that so that these will uh, these the panel here will dim down and some of these lights will light up according to the uh, the the brightness settings in the sim as well but I think I've only done that on one of these panels I'll have to I'll have to demo when I get the, the radio stack complete I'll have to do a demo of that just to show how, how that works uh, with the overlays but not much of a, a big uh, jump on that Oh, there's uh, an autopilot. You can see I've not even quite uh, finished that one yet. I haven't put the knobs on here uh, yet, um, but that's an, uh, a Garmin autopilot for integration in the um, in the stack. Yes, yeah, so some of these functions uh, are working. Here you go. There's the the lights and uh, whatnot. Yeah, heading mode. Turn autopilot, flight director, what not? Okay, so that's the autopilot. You can see that's not that's not obviously finished yet. I've also been working on uh, these are sort of like those previous ones would tend to be newer ones, but also some older aircraft have um, the old SL Apollo um, Garmin series, and I've been also working on uh, some of the Apollo radios. So this particular one is an SL thirty uh, Navcom radio. Um, 
some of the basic functions again um, I was I was waiting for some extra functionality from the air manager API to enable me to complete this I think that is in there now so I can probably get on and uh, have a um, uh, more uh, finish some of the more advanced features that are on this um, with the flag and it's got uh, the OBS uh, setting here so you can dial in the OBS uh, number here and then you can get a CDI up uh, over here if you've got a valid uh, frequency so similar to the Bendix King radios but this is obviously the the Garmin SL30 um, and I'll probably get around to doing the SL40 because that's a much more stripped down version doesn't have as many features because most of the complexity in these instruments is in the nav side of things the com side is fairly straightforward um, so that's the SL30 um, what else have we got to show you um, from a um, Garmin point of view I don't think there's much more um, in the, um, I do plan to do some more of the Garmin ones so um, I'll probably get around to doing the um, the common Garmin GTX transponders um, probably the older version uh, um, or variants of one like the the 330 327 328 um, they they look almost uh, identical just um to do with um the particular functionality of those some of those are um mode s or i think there's even an extended squitter version of the 330 that um that gives adsb out so um they're just different variants but essentially the functionality of them is is very very similar almost the same um in terms of the front panel and the, and the use um within air manager and the sim um and then the newer transponders the gtx 335 and 345 panel panel mount transponders um that have a slightly different display but again very similar to the 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 the, the older ones but with, with a, a fresher newer look in line with the new range of garmin uh, radios um and possibly one or two others i've not, I've not had a uh a full look at the the uh, model listing again recently so there might be one or two others that I might I might get around to doing as well but that's all going to take quite a bit of time and so eventually I hope to have a nice uh, um, Garmin radio stack or maybe a choice of different instruments within a radio stack uh, probably a mixture of newer and older um, variants um, and I'll probably also, uh, I'll get, oh, of course, some GTN overlays as well. I haven't got those in there yet. They're, they're just the GNS ones there. So the, the, uh, to be the, the very newest ones, we'll have to do the, uh, the GTN overlays. So I'll have to get around to that as well. Um, so that's pretty much it, I think, from the from the Garmin side of the, the house. Um, I've also, um, just having to think of what else I've got. Oh, um yeah um no okay i was just looking through my list of instruments here to see uh see what we've got in terms of um other other uh garmin uh related um equipment i think i've shown the the indicator already i think in the previous video the gi 106 so yeah that's uh, an associated instrument uh, maybe with one of these nav radials or, or something else along those lines. So anyway, thanks for watching. That's just a short showcase of some of the Garmin radios and uh, various radio stack uh, components that I'm sort of working on in the background and eventually I will get around to uh, complete inner radio stack for those in the similar vein to the Bendix King stack that I've already shown. Thanks for watching. Cheers.